Hey, fellow adventurers. It is a dreary Sunday afternoon, and so we decided to take Jasper out for a walk. The dog is going stir crazy, so we're going to head to our favorite local trail that is less than a mile from our house to give Jasper a little stroll. And we thought while we're out, we would answer the 10 RV question challenge that we were challenged by older and wiser, our friends Scott and Katie, and uh, see if we can tell you a little bit more about us as RVers. So let's jump right in with question number one. What would you change in your current RV? And for me, I think it would probably be adding some power options. I'd love a stronger battery bank and maybe even some solar and giving us the flexibility for some boondocking and other, uh, other travel options. Yeah, I agree with those. And for me, I think I would change a little bit of our floor plan. I have seen some fifth wheels that have a larger bathroom, which I really like, and they put it in the nose of the RV and then have the bedroom in the midsection, which gives you more space around the bed. So that would be the thing that I would change about my current RV. What would Jasper change? Jasper? What would you change, buddy? Hey, Jasper, look here. What would you change? Really? Okay. All right. Well, now that we have that out of the way, let's uh, head on outside and we'll jump in on uh, question two. Okay. All right. Question number two is, what is something that you did not expect from your first RV? Uh, for me, I think it would be how roomy it is inside. And as a result, it makes it really comfortable and convenient to spend a lot of time in it. And I'm looking forward to some longer term travel at some point uh, in the future. Well, for me, it's definitely dealing with the sewage. That was probably my biggest fear when we were gonna get a camper was having to deal with the poop. And it's just not a big deal. So yeah, that's my biggest surprise. Jasper, what about you? Question number three, what was your deciding factor in deciding to purchase your RV? Uh, for me, it was my wife <laughs> who's been asking for a camper for 10 years. And uh, seriously though, I love the ability to travel uh, with our dog. It makes it nice and convenient. Yeah, I would agree with that completely. And basically you get to avoid hotel cooties. I just can't take hotels anymore, too nasty. So now I just have my own cooties, it's great. All right, question number four, what is your favorite meal to cook at camp? Um, anything grilled. Most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are big grillers even at home, so that's one of our favorite things to do when we're camping as well. And I also like taking advantage of cooking in my little mini cast iron skillets. That's kind of a fun thing I do in our RV, and we even made a video about it. That's right, be sure to check that out. Jasper loves it when we grill too, because sometimes he gets a few little scraps and nibblies. Uh-huh. All right, question five. What is your must-see RV destination? Ooh, uh, anything west. <laughs> I'm, I'm really looking forward to being able to get a little further west. We have really enjoyed some trips in Utah, Montana, and Wyoming, but none of those have been in the RV, so we're looking forward to getting out that direction. Yep. For me, anything mountains, and I'm really, really looking forward to when we finally get to go up into Canada and go to Banff and Jasper. We were supposed to do that this summer, had to delay it because our RV is not quite ready for that trip, but we are. Yeah, Jasper's been to Jasper, Arkansas, which is how he was named, but he has not been to Jasper, Canada, so that'll be next on the list. Question six, what's your favorite thing about RVing? Um, I like to stay where we play. I completely agree. No changes to that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number seven, least favorite thing about RVing. Um, difficulty in making reservations. You have to be so organized to know where you're gonna be camping six months from now in order to get reservations at some of the key spots. So that's something that we've had to learn and it's definitely one of my least favorite things is the availability or making reservations so far in advance. Coming home, never wanna come home. Yep, yeah, that's Jasper, true. you got a favorite, least favorite? What do you think, buddy? His favorite's probably just being with us. 
All right, question number eight. What are the must-haves for your next RV? Um, same as I already described, more power. <laughs> of course. Yeah, for me, I would have a couple of changes in my kitchen. I want to make sure I have a convection microwave and a stove burner top that's a little bit different layout than my current one so that pans fit on there better. All right. What about Jasper? Jasper, what do you want, bud? Okay, this one's gonna be a tough one for you. What is your favorite adult beverage while camping? Ooh, well, it's not beer, it's root, root beer. beer. <laughs> um, Jasper's not an adult. I don't think no Jasper opinion. has an adult beverage, so we'll skip that one. Last question. Favorite indoor RV accessory? This one's a little hard to interpret, so Ooh. might think about like what indoor thing that's already built in and what indoor thing that you have brought in. Well, I would say things that are already built in that I love uh, would be the recliner. We don't have a recliner at home, so we love having a recliner in the RV. So I'll say recliner. As far as an accessory that we brought in, here's a practical one. I'll say our little shark rocket vacuum cleaner. You do love that thing. Well, it's necessary <laughs> yes, with our little fur ball and uh, it works really well. So I'll say my uh, shark vacuum. All right. Well, my favorite accessory that's built in is the air conditioner. That was a big reason for getting an RV. And then the favorite thing I brought in is my instant hot. Now I did not say instant pot. I said instant hot. It's this little tea kettle that heats up your water like in a minute and a half. It's amazing. I use it all the time. So love my instant hot. And Jasper, favorite RV accessory. What's yours? What's your favorite RV accessory? Well, thanks again to Scott and Katie for inviting us to do this RV question challenge. Yeah, super fun. And now we are going to pass on the challenge to a couple of uh, RVers that we enjoy. Uh, so we're going to challenge Hinton the Trail, see what they want to share with you about their RV uh, adventures. And we also want to challenge our wandering family who has been such an inspiration to us. They are our favorite podcast to listen to. They host RV Miles and they are also fellow, fellow Midwesterners. <laughs> We had a breath walking up a hill right now, um, but uh, they have been such an inspiration to us and they're trying to get some more videos out on YouTube in addition to their podcast. So maybe this will give them something fun to do while they're in Kansas City right now and uh, you'll get to learn more about them and their RV journey. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks again for watching this video. We hope you continue to follow along with us on our adventures and get out there and explore because today is an adventure day.